Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about monetization and just my story on how I got monetized. Now, I want you to keep in mind, this was about two years ago, so things could have changed. In the meanwhile, it might not be the same for you. And to be honest, I just made a lot of dumb mistakes that just made it so much harder than it had to be. So I'm just going to be talking about my experience, just what I thought about the entire process, and just how I can help you guys with your monetization now obviously I can actually get you monetized but maybe I can give you guys some tips or advice through the process just to make it a bit easier since I said I made a lot of dumb mistakes so don't make those so yeah let's get started with this video so I'm gonna be honest with you guys this whole process was very stressful for me when I did it I was 15 years old I didn't really know what I was doing and just the whole process was just like it hurt my brain mentally and it was just such a struggle. I tried setting up an AdSense account like multiple times and it never worked. Every time it showed an error, it just wouldn't let me create an account and I had no idea why. Luckily for you, it's been two years and now I do know why. So first, let me just share with you what you need to know. So being monetized means that you are able to run ads on your YouTube videos and from that ads, depending on how long user watches it, depending if they click on it, things like that, depending on what they action they do, you can get money. So the more interactions, the longer they watch the video, the ad, the more money you can make. Now do keep in mind, it's a very, very small percentage of money you make from one ad. I don't even know how much, but just like, it's, it's minute. Now also it's something you need to know, getting monetized nowadays isn't really easy. Now when I was getting monetized two years ago, the requirements were not as strict as they are nowadays. So I don't really remember what they were back then, but I know right now what you need in order to be monetized, your requirements is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. And the four hours of watch time need to have been accumulated in a span of like 12 months. So if you have not had like 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months, monetization is not possible. So yeah, that is the requirements nowadays. But like I said, back then, when I was still very small, the requirements were not as strict and it was easier to get monetized. Now, it did still take a long while. My channel grew very slow at the beginning, like super slow, like snail slow, but I got there eventually. And I think I'm really lucky in the position I was since by the time the stricter monetization rules came in, my channel had grown a bit. So I was safe at least by then. But yeah, so I was very lucky to have gotten monetized by the time where it wasn't so strict. Now let me give you guys a backstory. So the first video that I ever uploaded was uploaded on the 20th of March 2015. That video is now set to private for obvious reasons. Hi guys, it's Kayla. Um, I'm gonna show you my Lumen storage. So I did a bunch of Lumen videos back then and that was just a trend at that point and I was like 13 I believe so yeah, that's just what I did But it wasn't about like a year later where I actually constantly started uploading videos and actually starting to take YouTube seriously and Dreaming of it becoming a job one day now do keep in mind when I started YouTube I had no idea you can make money off of YouTube I didn't even know it could be an income stream. So that is I think a big bonus in my opinion when you start off something just loving it and then realizing you can actually have an income stream coming from this thing that you love. Especially me, I took a long time in order to get any revenue or any recognition on YouTube whatsoever. I think about like three years. And it really gets disheartening when you realize that you're not getting as much feedback as you want compared to the amount that you're putting into your videos. That's something that I struggled with a lot. but. Then getting income from that, it's a great kickback from all the hard work that you've put in over like the last few years in my case. Now I do know that some people get on YouTube for a year and then their channels kick off. Sadly, my type of channel that I have, that's not really as possible. Okay, so that's enough about that. So now let's get to the monetization. So 
I followed all the steps, I went to my channel, I saw that I was eligible for monetization, I went to sign up, I had all the requirements, I just needed to set up my AdSense account and then I was good to go, I just needed to go over review and things like that but I was ready to set up my AdSense account and every single time the first thing you need to know you need an email verified of an 18 year or older person now keep in mind by this time i was 15 years old so just use my parents email easy as that you just need your parents consent and then you can set up an antis account but every single time i tried setting it up i typed in the right email and then it just wouldn't let me do it it kept saying get an email of 18 years or older if this happens to you I don't know how I actually figured this out. The browser that I was using, I was using a Chrome browser, but the default account linked to that browser was my email address, which says I'm a 15 year old girl. So automatically AdSense picked that up and wouldn't let me complete the action. So I went on the desktop of my parents, their email were the default email on that browser and that way I could finally set up my AdSense account. So if that is a problem you're running into, I don't even know if that's still a thing, then just be advised because this was probably the most, I probably did like 20 times before I actually figured it out. So just, I just want you to know this because I, I went through that and it was hell. So yeah, that was probably the dumbest mistake I made. But once that was done, I could start finally getting monetized. Now, first thing they did, they needed to verify my address. So they sent out a piece of paper. I have it with me right here. Now, I'm not gonna show the other side since it has like my address and everything, but they sent me this piece of paper. This is the piece of paper that you see on everyone's thumbnails. And also, I did make a video talking about my first paycheck. It was more like a thank you video. It wasn't really that great, but um, I did do that. But this is just to verify your address. So they sent, they mailed this to me. And then inside, I'm just gonna show you, but um, inside they gave you steps on what you need to do after you've received this. So step one, I needed to go to AdSense. I had to go and sign in with my email address and password. I need to go to settings and payments. I need to go to account information and click on verify address. And then I had to submit a pin that is on this email. It gives you a big pin that you need to put in to verify your address. And then you are good to go to start verifying. Now they also need to verify your account, your payment method. Now they did that. I don't really know. I've heard people say that they had to like they had, they put in like cents into your account and then you needed to type in like the amount of cents that they put in. I did not have to go through that. I don't know why. All I needed to do was put in a payment method and then I was good to go. So um, I don't know if it changed in the meantime. Like I said, it's been like two years for me. But yeah, that's just my experience of what I needed to do. And then once that, it took me probably like six months. I don't even know, it's been so long. In order to reach my threshold. And if you don't know what the threshold is, you have to have a certain amount of money in your AdSense account in order for it to pay out into your bank account. And this is something that I did not know until I obviously had an AdSense account. Now for South Africa, in a rand currency, it could be different in dollars, you need to have 1000 rand in the threshold. And to achieve that took so, so long for me. I had, I probably made like 100 rand a month and that took a while to compile up to 1000 rand in order for it to actually go into my bank account. But by now, my channel is successful enough to give me an income every single month, which is, I'm very blessed to have that. But do know, it took me quite a long while in order to reach my threshold for the money to actually come into my bank account. So like I said, it took months. And every single time I only get got paid like every three months or every two months. But yeah, then my start channel started growing and growing. And by now, like I said, I have an income stream every single month. It's not a lot. Some months are better than others. That is something that I need you to know. AdSense is an emotional roller coaster. You will not have the same amount of income every single month. 
Some months you'll be devastated with your income, some months you'll be joyed with your income. So that's just something you need to keep in mind. With monetization, it's not easy breezy all the time. It can be very disheartening some months, but then again, we don't do it for the money, you do it for the joy. It just, it is nice to get money. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically my whole story when I started getting monetized, how I dealt with it, some mistakes that I made that I don't want you to make as well, and just my overall thoughts on it. It is a good process and it can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing like I did, but if you know what you're doing, it could be super easy breezy. You can just go through it and then get monetized again. It does take a while, but then when you're there, you're there. Now things I think you can do to help yourself. Now obviously, like I've done so many YouTube tips and tricks videos of like advice for YouTubers, small YouTubers, how to grow your channel. I mean, getting to that first thousand is a hard battle, but once you're there, you're so overjoyed. So um, I recommend obviously uploading frequently. I recommend longer videos so you can boost your watch hours. Since the longer a video is, the longer the viewers will watch it and the longer your watch hours will be. And also that is a bonus when you get monetized. If your video is 10 minutes and longer, you can start adding mid-roll ads and that can give more revenue. So that's also something that's really nice that I didn't know when I started. And just overall, don't give up. I know it is a gut-wrenching process and it can be very disheartening but once you get that kickback once you actually get monetized you get so overjoyed and happy so do not get disheartened if i gave up i wouldn't be where i am today i wouldn't have a income stream i wouldn't be able to help my family with finances so i do just recommend not giving up and just keeping at it well, you still can. So yeah, that's my whole story, my advice for you guys about monetization. I hope this video helped you. It is This video is in a different format that I usually have my videos. I just thought this is a nice video just to give back to you guys, give you guys some advice, since this is one of the biggest things I know small YouTubers wonder about. So if this video did give you some advice or it was helpful, if, or you just enjoyed the video, give this a thumbs up. It really does help. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Comment down below letting me know any other thoughts that you might have. I will try to reply to you and give you some more advice if I can. Click on the video to see my recently uploaded video and click on the playlist to see all of my other YouTube tips and tricks videos. There's other tutorials or advice videos like this and I will see you guys in my next video. Be weird and be proud of it. Bye.